Many would say that children are our most precious citizens. So should laws meant to protect the privacy be suspended in order to protect them? Well, our Sari Heidenreich looked into it, and she joins us now with that story. Sari. Well, Val, you and I, right, right now, having this conversation, we know it's public, we know it's being recorded, but we, if we were having this conversation, say, in your car, it couldn't be recorded without both of us agreeing to it. Now, Pennsylvania lawmakers are proposing a change that would allow audio recording on school buses. James Jackson is many things. A professor, a pastor, but more importantly... I am also a father. When Jackson sends his kids off to school in the morning, he doesn't put them on a bus. I want them to feel secure, um, and, and again, the bus can be a very stressful situation. But I used to ride the bus, and um, there, were a lot of, there was a lot of bullying going on, and um, it was chaos. A stressful situation Senator Richard Alloway hopes to change with a new law. The purpose of allowing the audio is again to assist the school bus operators in trying to deter uh, bullying, bullying and other um, activity on the buses for, with kids getting out of line. Uh, you know, just, just videotaping sometimes isn't enough. Videotaping is already in place on board many buses. Alloway's bill would allow districts to add audio recording. If they do, they'll have to remind parents yearly and post a notice on each bus. I think people acknowledge that you cannot simultaneously watch kids and watch the road. So any aid you can get to transport kids safely is a positive. The ACLU approves of this bill, but warns that it could be a slippery slope. So uh, we're less concerned about this bill and more concerned about the desire by some schools to expand this out to all school property. Now, to be clear, Senator Alloway said he does not want his bill to become a slippery slope and he wouldn't support an expansion onto school property. He also noted that this bill puts the decision to record audio in the hands of individual school boards. Send it back to you. Thank you, Sari. And that bill passed the Senate 49 to 1 yesterday. It now must be approved by the House of Representatives and the governor, and they likely won't even discuss it until the fall.